I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the members of our Free Math Solutions Group for participating actively, posting brilliant questions, and providing excellent solutions. Here is another question from one of our subscribers. I like to take this up in details for the benefit of others. I'll also provide a link for our WhatsApp group. If you want, you can always join in. The question here is, minus 3, 9 is the midpoint of a chord within a circle with center 7, minus 1. The radius, 18. Calculate the length of the chord. Complete the squares to find exact coordinates of the end of the chords. Right. So basically we are given a chord in a circle. So let me just draw a circle here. Let's assume that this is a circle for us. And uh, we're talking about this particular chord. The center of the circle is given at 7 minus 1. Let's say this is the center. 7 minus 1. Minus 3, 9 is the midpoint of the chord. So let me join this with the midpoint and also the end points. Right, so we have this point center right there. Okay. <clears throat> so center is 7 minus 1. The midpoint is minus 3. 9. That is this point. We are also given that the radius is 18. First part is to calculate the length of the chord, which is quite simple. Let's say AB is the chord and O is the center. And the midpoint is, let's say, M. In that case, we can always, this midpoint will be going through center. That means it is a right bisector. So it will form a right angle triangle, right? So MOB is a right angle triangle. We can find the length MO using the two points given to us. So let's start with that. So the length of MO is basically equal to square root of uh, difference of their X values, which becomes 7 plus 3 whole square plus minus 1 minus 9 whole square square root correct so that gives us 7 plus 3 it was it is 10 of course so it is 10 square plus 10 square square root or we can write this as 10 square root 2 so that becomes the length of om ob the radius is already given to us as 18 so mb is how much so mb will be equal to square root of uh, 18 square plus the other square uh, 18 square hypotenuse minus om square right so minus om square which i could write this as 200 right 10 square root 2 square let's calculate this value so we have 18 square minus 200 and square root of our answer is equal to 2 square root 31. So we get this as equal to 2 square root 31, correct? So this is half of the chord length. So AB, the length of the chord will be equal to 2 times this, right? So 2 times 2 square root 31. And that gives us the length as 4 square root 31 units. So we'll say chord length. Clear? So that is the first part. Now in the second part, we need to complete the squares to find the exact coordinates of the end points of the chord. Now, there are different ways to do it, right? We do have uh, uh, the length, we have a midpoint here. We could do it in many different ways. However, what we will do here is, we'll find the equation of the circle, 
we'll find equation of the line AB and then we'll find point of intersection. Is that clear to you? Right. That is our approach now. So let's find equation of circle first. Since we are given the center, which is at 7 minus 1, it will be x minus 7 whole square plus minus 1 will give us y plus 1 whole square equals to 18 square the radius, right? So we get equation of the circle. How do we find equation of the chord AB? Well, let's find slope of OM, right? So first find slope of uh, O to M. So let's say slope M of O to M. So from O to M, the slope is y2 minus y1. So 9 minus of minus 1 over minus 3 minus 7 minus 3 minus 7. Okay, so that gives you 10 over minus 10. And this slope is negative 1. So, so slope of AB is going to be 1 over slope of OM because they are perpendicular, right? So we could write this as positive 1. Now that really means that the equation of AB, so, so line AB equation now, we can write this as y equals to 1 is the slope, so x plus b. To use to find the value of b, we'll use the point minus 3, 9, which is the midpoint here. So, we're using that point, we are going to write this as 9 equals to minus 3 plus b. And so, we know that b is equal to 9 plus 3, which is 12. Correct. So, we get the equation of a, b, which is y equals to x plus 12. Okay. Now we have these two equations with us, one the equation of the circle and second the equation of the line, we can substitute the value of y. So in that case we will get one equation which will have only x in it and then we can solve for x, correct? So now let's substitute uh, 2 in 1. So if we do that we get what? We get x minus 7 whole square and here we are writing plus instead of y I'm writing x plus 12 x plus 12 and already we have 1 here whole square equals to 18 square and let me write as x minus 7 whole square plus x plus 13 whole square equals to 18 square correct <clears throat> so we have a quadratic equation in x now let us expand to completing the squares and then uh, find the solution from here. So x minus 7 whole square will give us uh, x square minus 14x plus 49. And here we have plus x square plus 26x plus 13 square 169 equals to 18 square which is how much let's find out so 18 square is 324 let's bring all the terms together right so we have x square plus x square as 2x square minus 14 x and plus 26 will give us plus 12 x and these numbers let's combine so we have 49 plus 169 169 take away 324 so we get minus 106 equals to 0 so we have a quadratic equation and now we can complete the squares to find the value of x that is the requirement complete the squares to find the exact coordinates of the end points right so x is the end point value of coordinate for x so let's take 2 com so we get x squared plus 6x We'll keep this minus 106 separate. We're just completing the squares equals to 0. 2. We have x squared plus 6x. Half of 6 is 3. So add and subtract 3 squared. Minus 106 equals to 0. And then we get 
that makes it x plus 3 whole square and this is minus 9 minus 106 equals to 0 and then we get 2 times um, open the bracket x plus 3 whole square minus 18 minus 106 equals to 0 or 2 times x plus 3 whole square and we have to now find the value of x from here so 18 minus 106 I'm taking to the right side right so it becomes 124 right? 6 plus 8 14 124 now we need to solve for x correct so we have x plus 3 whole square equals to 124 divided by 2 which is 62 taking square root we get x plus 3 equals to plus minus square root of 62 or we get the value of x as uh, minus 3 plus minus square root of 62 clear so we have the value of x now we need to find the coordinate value so we need to find y also we know y is x plus 12 right so so from here since we know the value of x is uh, this y equals to x plus 12 so the value of y is equal to when you add 12 to this so you get 9 right 9 plus minus square root of 62 is that clear to you uh, so that becomes the y value for these different uh, x values depending on what you choose correct so that becomes our coordinate points so we can write down the answer which is the x value is minus 3 plus square root 62 then the y value is 9 plus square root 62 right and uh, if x value is minus 3 minus square root 62 let me push this camera a bit so I hope you can clearly see right uh, then the y value is 9 minus square root 62 good so those are the coordinates exact values of a and b so the answers here are 4 square root 31 is the length of the chord we'll write units and the points here are we have x value of let me write in a different ink minus 3 plus square root 62 then we get 9 plus square root 62 and the other value is minus 3 minus square root 62 and the y value is 9 minus square root 62 clear so that is how we are going to solve this particular question so I hope the steps are absolutely clear this is a very unique an example which has um, a lot of uh, intricacies involved especially the later half complete the square to find the exact coordinates of the end of the chord so, so I hope the steps are absolutely clear the question is indeed an excellent one it involves a lot of intricacies especially part B complete the square to find the exact coordinates to the end of the chord so one of its kind I hope you find it interesting and useful. All those who want to join our group can uh, select the link provided and join and contribute in the best possible way. Thanks for your time and all the best.